Hey guys, I'm Allison, and I'm going to summarize a couple things I've been learning lately. One, from the video I shared a little clip of me watching in my Overcoming Narcissistic Abuse video by Richard Grannon called Cure PTSD Video 1, and one I just watched by Brene Brown about the power of vulnerability. So, you cannot selectively numb yourself and not feel certain emotions. This made me think about how for so long I was in denial about my depression and anxiety and CPTSD disorder, post-trauma disorder, like actual illness. I tried to focus on the positive, but I... That's not how it works. Tying in a concept from Richard Grannon's video, he said that you digest emotions like you digest food. If you're eating some super unhealthy diet or something that's bad for you, it gets stuck in your system and it gets hard and it becomes a blockage and all the other food can't get through easily and your body starts to take on damage. That happens with your emotions as well. You don't process and digest things that you've been through that are hard to, bro to process and digest. Like our entire childhood, like many of our family aspects happening in our lives today, they get stuck and then going through our day-by-day -day lives, other tiny things get stuck too. And over time, it's become this massive buildup in our system. If you resonate with what I'm saying, I'm right there with you and it's tough sometimes, but there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people who feel the same way. And you're not just crazy or messed up. You've been through an actually hard, distressing time. And there is actual energetic in your system. But you can and will get to a place where you're okay and where you're able to live a life where things just wash through you and you feel extreme happiness and healthiness. But that only comes if you are able to take a hard deep look at this blockage and feel those feelings as well we can't just deny their existence to feel all the good we have to feel all the bad another quick golden nugget of wisdom i heard recently is that we get anxious when we are not following our heart either doing something that we know we're not supposed to be doing or not doing something that we know we are supposed to be doing if you are not living in alignment with what your inner compass is directing you towards, then you're obviously going to feel this resistance. So, I just want to let you know today that whatever you're feeling, if you're judging yourself, if you're feeling like you're not in control of your emotions as well as you'd like to be like you just want that part of yourself to go away like why can't you just be like the happy side of yourself why you know like whatever it is that you're feeling if you're scared if you're sad know that it's okay and coming from some random girl on the internet that may not mean a whole lot to you but it really is okay we grew up in this environment where there was always a problem and we were always like seeing all the craziness and blah, blah, but what if we'd been grown in a place that was constantly like oh there's a problem hey take a deep breath it's fine you're fine everything's okay life will go on let's deal with it as best as we can but hey you are doing great we can't go back and grow up in an environment like that now but we can provide that for ourselves moving forward so just know it's fine it really is. And we are all feeling these weird ways too. And you're not alone and we are all valid in having whatever experience we're having. But you're Gucci, you're good. Just ride these waves and 
in no time you will be doing so fantastic know that things are getting better without that hope how on earth are things gonna get better how can you just be a miserable mess and like find happiness one day that's not how it works plant the seed no trust that in time the seed will blossom and after all of the beautiful growth it will bear fruit or flowers or whatever just know know that's gonna happen for you one day and feel all your feelings along the way i think that's the first step towards getting to a place where you're truly happy because you can't be happy unless you're feeling all the other things too so, that's it <laughs> Peace.